Who? How is it going, everyone? It's 5:25 right now. I'm making sure I got everything. Turn those lights off. And I think that's it. But um, heading out in the South Mississippi or further south in Mississippi to do a little uh, bow hunting. Find my key here. Lock the door. There it is. Headed down there just to do some bow hunting for a few days. So, uh, sleeping in the truck again by myself. So, uh, fixing up. I gotta run ahead and grab some stuff and then throw it in the truck. And I'll be on the road. I'll probably be down there a little bit after daylight. It's kind of my plan. It's a place I've never been to. So, uh, it's come going into it blind. Don't know what to expect. Just know what it looks like on the map. It's completely different terrain than I've ever hunted. So I'm gone. Fixing to be gone. Be down there in a little while. Be scouting. I'm going to scout today and I'm going to hunt the next two or three days after that. So y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's roll. All right, everyone. I have arrived at the place I'm gonna be hunting for the next few days. And uh, right now I'm just kinda of riding around. It's about 8.30. Looking, looking for trails, crossing these roads, looking where people's hunting. Just uh, kinda of seeing what I see. Today's a scouting day because it's, it's gonna be kinda, kinda of warm today. Um, and it's supposed to rain this afternoon, so I got to get some scouting done. Um, but the next two or three days after that, it's supposed to be really cold. So I'm just going to kind of ride around the place, get a little bit of a feel for it. And uh, like I say, see where everybody's at. There's somebody right there. And uh, see where everyone's at. See what kind of sign I find. And uh, put some boots on the ground. So, uh, Y'all stick with us and see what I can find. Alrighty, we have boots on the ground. I'm walking into a spot I seen on the map. And we got a scrape right here. Pretty good licking branch. Pour one right here too. That's encouraging. That's what we're looking for. But uh, I'm walking back here pretty close to the private because um, there's a little small block of woods that almost looks like cedars um, that I'm looking at right here. Right there, that strip is where I'm headed. But there's a ditch that runs down right here going back to some more private. It's just a little strip right here in between two blocks of private. And it ain't super far off the road, but uh, down here, back behind me on that piece of private, there's a bunch of soybeans and they hadn't been picked. They're still standing. So I'm kind of hoping that these deer are following this thick ditch down it, going to the beans on the other, other part of the private. It's actually on the other side of the road. So... I'm gonna go down here and look in this little block of woods and see if I can find any sign up in there because this is a good spot to catch deer traveling to a food source. But there's some big old tracks down here, so there's gotta be some big old bucks around here somewhere. Just gotta find them. Alrighty. Been walking a little bit and I got up in here. Private's kind of back this way a little bit. But I have found a really big trail. Look at this. Right here. Going down. They're crossing the creek right there. Going up the other side, kind of back that direction. There's more public back that way. But I like this spot they're really funneled down right here where they have to come through right here 
because there's a steep there's a steep bank over here and it's thick bunch of blow downs up in here so they can't come that way and they can't come this way they have to cross right here and there's been a lot of deer crossing it so I'm fixing to fixing to go back up here behind me and see if I can find a good tree to get in and mark this spot because this is it's a good spot I really like this spot Well, I made about a 20 or 25 minute drive back up here to this town to get me something to eat, because I'm hungry. It ain't but 7-Eleven right now, so it ain't super late. My face is get me something to eat, and then I'm gonna head back or find somewhere I can sleep at, sleep in the truck here, so. Probably gonna ride back down there and ride around a little bit and then find somewhere pretty close there to sleep at tonight, so. Thank you. Yeah. Bingo. Who? Oh, I am back. Found me a spot to pull off and uh, sleep for tonight. Um, I know we've had some questions um, about how we sleep and our setup in the truck and everything. I'm a pretty, uh, I'm a pretty tall guy. Well, I'm right at six foot. Um, so this is, this is a smaller truck too. It's an older Tundra and, uh, it's only five foot wide crossways in the back seat. So you can imagine a six foot guy can't fit in a five foot wide truck, uh, crossways. So what I do is I got this big, thick, uh, military mattress it's old and uh i'll put it in a passenger seat where it halfway levels it out and i lean the seat back as far as it'll go and uh i'm this is a old mummy bag um goose down mummy bag it's really warm uh seems something about how the older stuff is the better it works you know but uh got me a little little small pillow you don't need much um, at least I don't um, got all my I got my bag with the rest of my clothes here. I keep my jackets here um, I usually stick my bow over in the passenger seat I can uh, get over enough my driver's side and put my pants on in the morning and everything that way I got to get out of the truck and uh, You know in the mornings just have your heat I'll just keep my heat turned you know about midways I usually put it where it's the dash and the feet uh, vents are open and just crank it up and let it warm up and then you're ready to go but uh, that's how I set up uh, when sleeping in the truck by myself um, so hope this kind of answers some of y'all questions some of y'all's questions about how we sleep in this now I know Jeremy he sleeps completely different because he's got a bigger truck um, so, but anyway, that's my setup, and uh, I'm fixing to go to sleep because I'm pretty tired. It's just 8.30, so uh, we'll see y'all in the morning. Hopefully, we can uh, get on some deer. in here to this spot I found some sign in the other day and there's actually some fresh sign coming in where I walked through this uh, uh, crop field there was some fresh tracks and you could see where the deer had been eating some of this grass that was in this field I don't know what kind of grass it is but they were eating it so I know I got two trails one right there not 20 yards from me and there's one right back here behind me and down in here it looks kind of open but it's pretty thick actually a lot of 
little trees. So, I don't know if I want to get on the ground, because there's several good spots to get on the ground, or try to set up in a tree. It's kind of hard to, to decide here, so. I finally picked a tree and it's actually not a bad tree um, like I said I got this trail right here coming it's like 15 yards it may not even be that far but this wind is pretty cold um, it's coming right out of the west right here Kind of going back pretty much the direction I walked in, which I know sometimes these big deer like to walk with the wind in their face, so I'm expecting them to come from this way. But you know, big deer, you know, they like cheating that wind, they like it pretty much in their face. So I may look up and have a big deer come through here, or I may not see nothing, but uh, I can kind of see back out behind me here. And there's like a big CRP type field back here. And I can see a pretty good ways up on some private. I can hear some dogs barking over a little bit, so. I know there's, you know, houses and stuff, something back over there, so. Probably not gonna, the deer probably ain't gonna come from there. But there's a pretty good thicket back up this way. I'm expecting these deer to come down through here going to these ag fields that I walked in on. Like I say, there's a bunch of, there's several fresh tracks out there uh, since the rain last night. And all that little grass out there, you can see where it's been nipped off, where they've been eating it. So, could be the afternoon. We'll, uh, we'll just sit back and see. Only thing, I thought they may be crossing this creek, but they may not be doing that today because this water is a lot higher than it was yesterday so we'll see it's a little after three we'll know by dark what comes through here so let's just sit back and see what happens see what time will tell today but hey we just chasing the rut here in Mississippi now
grazed that deer right on top of his back. I just looked up and he was crossing this water right here. That was a pretty, that was an old deer. I think I'm gonna get down and go over and get my arrow right quick. So, man, he stayed right here at 10 yards. And then I had this limb. You couldn't see it. There's one tree I was trying to get by and make sure my bow didn't hit the camera. Dang it, man. Been a good deer. down I got my arrow there's one hair on it right here blades are fine I didn't even all I did was cut the skin a little bit I think so that deer be completely fine I'm not worried about that at all but it's not a super big heartbreak but you know would have been nice to have gotten him but he looked like a really old deer that's a big red big red colored deer but uh, the good thing is he crossed this creek that's so deep the one that I didn't think that they would cross so that's a good sign and it's still probably an hour before dark so he come through here pretty early, so I'm just going to knock her back on there and uh, see what I can do, but sometimes that's the way it goes. Could have been worse. I'm just glad it barely nicked him. Alrighty. Well, I am headed back home. Actually, pretty close to home right now. Um, ended the hunt out. Uh, seen one little buck after I shot at the, the bigger deer there um, you know just sometimes that happens I don't claim to be a professional archer I don't claim not to get buck fever even if it ain't that big a deer but uh, as a just the hunt made itself being that close to a, a mature deer like that when you're that close I mean, I was nine yards from him when he was looking at me. When you are that close to an old deer, when you know that you fooled him enough to get him that close, you know, even though he looked up there and seen me, I could have shot him maybe once right there before he got up there, but he come in on me quick. But just to figure out that, you know, places they come travel and uh, figure that out, and put yourself in that position and have a deer come just right like that come up there um, that that makes the hunt right there so appreciate y'all joining me on this hunt uh kind of tough didn't find a really a ton of sign to be honest with you um, that one trail that i hunted tonight was the best spot that i found the whole time here so you know just one of them spots it may be good at the right time of year. I think it was probably a little early for the rut down there. But uh, it could be a little better a little later on. You know. Just uh, just depends there. But uh, I'm headed home right now. Like I say, I'm not very far from it. And uh, I know the rut's really kicking in up here around the house. So I'm going to be hunting here for the next few days. And uh, hopefully I can put one on the ground. So... Like I say, thank y'all for joining. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Leave us some comments. We love reading them. Love getting feedback from everyone. And uh, hey, be sure and hit that subscribe button. So, I mean, you know whenever we put the video out. And uh, hey, we'll see y'all next time.